Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. It's your girl Mrs and I'm back with another video. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a demo comparison, swatching, testing the new Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Honey. I'm actually quite surprised that I was just not planning on filming this video because it took me quite some time to decide to get it. But now I've got it in my collection, I thought why not to do a demo comparison and all that goodness. So if you're new to the channel and you love makeup content, make sure you do subscribe. I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, put your post notifications on to all. I post twice a week. Follow me on Insta is missy.sids and without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I've got my babies right here and honestly speaking, off the back, I love the Laura Mercier translucent powders. I remember they first came up with the translucent, fed enough with it and then they came up with a shade medium deep and I was so desperate to get the shade I went as far to order from Sephora's website paid the delivery charges hurt my soul and my pocket to pay the custom fees and I've loved it ever since but before jumping in I'm going to give you guys the specs because you guys know I love a little bit of specs so if you are based in the UK I believe you can get it from Look Fantastic or Cult Beauty this retails for £32, £32 for 29 grams worth of product. It comes in three shades of the particular one that I'm looking at right now. And it's basically a finely milled weightless. This is flawless duh, that features micro refined silica and soft focus, soft focus, repeat, light reflecting particles, which instantly blur imperfections and minimize appearance of pores, fine lines, wrinkles without creasing and caking. So that is what I pretty much look for in a translucent powder and a setting powder. I do have normal to dry skin, but I have been cursed with a lot of fine lines um, on my under eye, on my eyelids especially. I think my foundation is probably really creasing by now. So when it comes to this powder, it performs beautifully. I I love the formula I just think it's just one of the best I have in my collection a luxury flawless translucent powder in terms of the shade medium deep it's the swatch of the back of my hand there in the shade medium deep a lot of people that are around my skin complexion or my skin complexion feel like the shade is a little bit too dark to set the under eye but call me crazy but I actually feel like this works for me to set my under eye, which I'm gonna show you a snippet now. But I think medium suits my skin complexion quite well to set my under eye concealer. I use the e.l.f. Um, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Deep Honey, I believe. Oh no, sorry, Deep Chestnut. And I applied it in the normal areas where I apply my concealer to highlight. And then I went in the shade Medium Deep from Laura Mercier. I always feel like this shade is actually quite manageable and workable for my skin tone. And especially if you are deeper and darker than my complexion, I think this will be more suitable for your skin tone to set your concealer. So yeah, overall, I actually don't, funny enough, use this to set my over face. My over face? My over face. All over my face, even though I know I can. But I don't know if it's just the shades or the undertones of concealers that I use, why it may complement this shade of um, the translucent powder. But I personally think it works. So you guys let me know what you think about that. But... I think it does work for the under eye, but we move. This is the Laurie Mercier Transit Powder in the shade Honey. It's pretty much the same packaging. Um, the only difference is, is that this one has a different font, you know, upgrade, new improve. And that's the original Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Medium. This is actually Honey, and that's Translucent. So I was really surprised how Honey doesn't look like honey, if that makes sense. That like honey is not as warm yellow undertone that I expected. And just to compare the shade to other translucent powders, which are more yellow based, I will give you guys a comparison. Okay, so these are my terrible swatches of translucent powder. And um, these are more of like my yellow base or yellow tone translucent powders. So that one here is the Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. That one is the Beauty Bakery um, baking powder in the shade Planting. That one is the Fenty Beauty 
um, Pro Filter, it's a filter, one, one a filter, yeah, <laughs> some thick filter in the shade Honey, because she is a honey, and that one is the Huda Beauty baking powder in the shade Kunafa, and that last one here is Colourpop in the shade Banana, funny enough, so I would say Colourpop and the um, Laura Mercier translucent powder look very similar, which I've always said that the shade Banana in Colourpop's um, setting powder is quite on a lighter side of the spectrum for myself, but these shades are more my favourite because you've got the yellow, but it's not too deep, but it's just got that warmth of the yellow, if that makes sense. So yeah, those are just a few swatches of translucent powders side by side. I'll be gonna use the translucent honey on this side and the original translucent on that side pretty much my foundation is already on as you can see <laughs> and the foundation i use is the nars natural radiant foundation which is one of my faves it's really dirty don't judge me but one of my faves in the shade new caledonia and i cannot wait to test out the soft matte one but it hasn't reached the uk yet so you know but that's what i've got as my foundation and again in terms of the concealer i'm going to use the same concealer like i did before which is the elf 16 camel concealer in shade jeep deep jeep yeah deep chestnut I'm not even gonna do anything else to my face. I'm too tired. I'm not gonna. I'm too tired, so I am just going to apply it under my eye. Shall I do my? Yeah, let me just do it. On this side of my face, I'm gonna use the shade Honey. I'm probably gonna apply heavier than usual, so you can see what it actually looks like. Okay, so if you are a regular returning subscriber of mine, you guys know that this application is a lot, okay? Like, I go with the little amount, dab it at the back of my hand, press it in, brush it off. But I have gone a bit more heavier than usual because obviously I want you guys to see if you can spot the difference, basically. So, even looking at my mirror, you would not really see a huge difference in terms of which one is what shade um so the undertone is obviously a little bit more warmer on this side because it does have more of a yellow hue but in terms of the shade itself it's very manipulative when you apply it on your skin and you press it in on top of your concealer so you don't really see a huge major difference let me see me do my face yeah, let me semi do my face and I'll be back. So the natural beat is done and it was a struggle. The way I just did not want to put makeup on my face. But anyway, in terms of the powders, I love these powders. I think the powder is a very beautiful powder. If you're someone like me that suffers with fine lines under the eyes, major creasing around your eyelids, normal to dry skin, want something that's lightweight, non-cakey, not dry, finely milled, smooth, give you that flawless finish, this is your baby girl. It is a little bit pricey, but you are paying for what you're getting. And like I said, in the shade medium, deep, I have had this since it's been out. It probably is expired, but it has lasted me for so long and I just absolutely love the powders. In the terms of the translucent honey, I was actually quite underwhelmed of the shade. Like, I thought honey was gonna look like honey, like honey, but this is just a mixture of white and a little dash of yellow, that, that is it. I guess it's more universal in terms of different shades and undertones um, in the line of the spectrum of deep complexion or medium complexion. If you're more medium tan and you want a little bit of a yellow hue, it will really suit you and you probably enjoy it. But I just feel like someone like me or even the deeper, darker skin tones, when I picture honey, I picture honey so i was a bit underwhelmed that honey was a little bit light um so me personally if you're someone that hasn't tried this brand in general and you want to pick and you're my skin complexion or darker i would just go for the honey and not bother with the translucent because there isn't actually a major difference but if you are more lighter translucent would be perfect if you are that deep that deep espresso, that 
mm, melanin dripping deep espresso gal I'm sorry but medium deep is the one like it works for me so I don't know what's going on I feel like I'm the only one that's like my skin tone and actually enjoys to set this as my under eye concealing setting powder so that is pretty much my take on the, these powders and hopefully this was very useful and helpful for anyone that's like me make a beginner trying to figure out what shade to go for and etc 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 i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you do subscribe on your way out leave a comment down below let me know what you think and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye